Okay, so it's time to take our 18 kilowatt output for a test run. So we went and started up our 12.7 ton pool heat pump pool heater, which is all electric, and it uses around 6,500 to 7,500 watts. So basically right now, it's, um, I don't know if you can see on there, but it's about 830 watts. Um, almost a kilowatt, We've got 1.03 kilowatts, 1.12 kilowatts, 950 watts, and 1.01 kilowatts. Sorry, for some reason it's not showing um, the display very well. It's kind of blurry today. I'm not sure what's going on. I cleaned the lens. It's got to be in the app. So we started that up, and the only difference that I heard when we started up um, 6,500 watts was the fans went up lightly. That was it. So right now we are on our batteries. We are at standby at 100%. So we're completely running that pool heater off of solar and we're running our pool pump at like 2,100 RPMs. So we can look on here right now it says the outside temperature is 73 degrees I'm not sure if you can see that or not oh, turn that on and it's saying it's at 56 degrees um on the water temperature so it's saying it's 56 degrees coming into that and the water temperature coming into this one is 44. So we're getting 12 degree difference on the water being heated, which is really good. <laughs> so, so we have a separate array set up for every one of those inverters. And we can heat this water. It's like 12, 13 thousand gallons we can heat that two to three degrees per hour so we're running that completely off of solar right now with no problem at one third of the rated output for those inverters that's why i like those six separate inverters because i only have to run one at a kilowatt and i can run that in february january february pretty much year round now that's it